explore what happens with the ray of light that propagates along a straight line. You can see the straight line here. You can see it's not a laser, so it spreads out a little bit, but it's pretty good when the rays of light hit a mirror. And what we have done here, we have a mirror here that you can see. I even will show it to you that it's a mirror. And I have here a circle with the degrees all around written on it. And you will see why I need it. I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to put the mirror right so along the line of 90 degrees, such as the line perpendicular to the mirror here shows zero. This perpendicular line in mathematics and science is called the normal. The normal is always perpendicular to the mirror. And it's interesting that in optics, we always measure angles from the normal to the mirror to the lens or other object. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the ray of light, and I'm going to try and position it so it exactly hits the center of the mirror. So I hope you can see right now I'm trying to make it exactly in the center. And now what you did, do see, you see the ray, which we call it the incident ray, and I'm going to do, use a laser pointer to show it to you. That is the incident ray. This ray is called the reflected ray. It bounces off, we say reflects or bounces off the mirror. And the interesting thing that I want you to see is that the angle from the normal, if I measure the angle from the reflected ray, from zero, excuse me, to incident ray. You, I hope you can see about 41 degrees. And if I measure the angle from the normal to the reflected ray, you will see exactly the same 41 degrees. And this is called the law of reflection. We say the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. And the fun thing is, if we look, if we go down and look inside the mirror, you can see that it appears to us that the rays propagate through the mirror. So how does this happen? Are there any rays on the other side of the mirror? Or why does it appear to us that we see the images, we say, on the other side of the mirror? To understand that, we'll do another experiment.